These news anchors were really creepy on live TV. From awkward behavior to inappropriate jokes, they weren't exactly living up to their most professional standards. Was no one paying attention for all these years? Sometimes being creepy is a team effort, like in this example from Canadian Sports Center, when Pierre Maguire's director apparently told him to really scooch up next to his fellow reporter as awkwardly as possible. And then that co-anchor said the perfect setup to a joke so stupid and juvenile, there's no way Maguire could resist blurting it out. Um, but he had mentioned Hal Gill's a defenseman with a long stick. Uh, is this a guy that's going to be traded, though? You're an announcer with a long stick from time to time. Yeah, big mouth. <laughs> it's really the from time to time part of that comment that makes the skin crawl, as if McGuire keeps track of his co-workers' ebbs and flows. Jesse Waters has a reputation as Fox News' frat boy pundit, but he somehow managed to maintain an actual career as a newscaster. He didn't do much to change that reputation when he made a crude joke about first daughter Ivanka Trump in response to her appearance at a women's panel in Germany. He went into a diatribe about respecting women, but then ended it with a comment that sounded like he was referencing oral pleasure. So I don't really get what's going on here, but uh, I really liked how she was speaking into that microphone. Waters came under fire, but he denied that his comment about Trump was crude, instead claiming he was celebrating how her voice sounded like a smooth jazz radio DJ. But that creepy smile of his would seem to suggest otherwise. Some guys just can't take a hint, like Good Morning New York anchor Greg Kelly, who was repeatedly scolded for ogling a fellow reporter on the air, but he just didn't seem to care. While reporting from a local water park, Anna Gilligan was wearing a bikini. She was just trying to get through the segment with her dignity intact, but Kelly was determined to make sure that wouldn't happen. Gilligan was going to dry off and put some clothes on, but Kelly kept dragging the segment on with awkward chit-chat. Hold on a All second. Right. No, not so fast, Anna. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Anna, let's see. This is in uh, New Jersey, right? <laughs> Be nice. What? How long is the trip? Oh, wait a second. Wait, uh, I think that's smart. The, 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 well, Anna, go try off. We'll see you in a little bit. What is uh, wrong with you? Relax. Okay. When someone says they want to go put some clothes on, you should let them go put some clothes on. No questions asked. Glenn Beck is known for a lot of things. Spinning conspiracy theories, crying on the air, and generally being too crazy for even Fox News. Yet few seem to remember the time he straight up asked one of his guests if he could see her naked. Us Weekly reporter Dina Sansing was on Beck's headline news show in 2007 to discuss the leak of nude pictures of American Idol contestant Antonella Barba. While the pundit was probably counting on some graphic details coming up, there's no way she could have known Beck would offer to help her take some racy pictures of her own. You know, Dina, I've got some time and a camera. Why don't you stop by? No. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's the sort of juvenile joke that probably would have gotten Beck fired if he tried to pull it off today. We all know Matt Lauer is a creep now, but back in 2012, he was still one of the most beloved names in news. That may be why he was given so much benefit of the doubt when he basically ambushed Anne Hathaway during an interview on The Today Show. He did so by bringing up a salacious photograph of the actress that had been making the rounds. Let's just get it out of the way. You had a little wardrobe malfunction mm. the other night. What's the lesson learned from something like that, other than that you keep smiling, which you always do? Lauer's condescending tone made it sound like he was implying that Hathaway was somehow at fault for someone invading her privacy, and he even seemed to be looking for an apology from her. It was baffling at the time, but not so much anymore in the light of all the misconduct allegations that have come out against him. It's not exactly reassuring when a news anchor informs his viewers that they're about to die. But that's exactly what Shepard Smith did as Hurricane Matthew barreled toward the Florida coast back in 2016. And you and everyone you know are dead. All of you. And your kids die too. Smith was certainly correct that Florida residents needed to evacuate for their own safety. That's true in the case of any major hurricane. The problem is that he was just a little too blunt with his warning. But then he sounded even more sociopathic when he described how the weather could interfere with his own personal plans. If too many of you perish, they'll send me down there. And I need to go to this wedding. Okay? Thanks. Here's hoping that all the news anchors of the world start acting a little classier as soon as possible.